so might as well get on with the back cover. Front cover's dry. This brush is still a little bit damp, so I'll use this to just so again. I'm going to do the the back cover in a very similar way to the front. Sorry, I don't, it sounds like they suddenly have a lot of planes flying over. It's very strange, we don't normally have planes flying over this house. There you go. I don't think we're going to need any water. Oops, sorry. Could do a helicopter, I suppose, looking for someone. Paper. This time, just plain old music paper. I know I covered most of it up on the front, but it just adds strength. And I know it's there. I think you can still see it a little bit underneath some of the layers. So you have to remember that's what mixed media is all about. So that's that. Let's pick some tape to go on here. Do I pick the same one? Uh, let's go for this one. It's a similar. It's from the same pack, as it were, but it's got a bit more of a geometric design to it. This one, quite like the way it looks on there. Thank you. 
like that. Add some that medium over the top. Really seal everything in. Try and take some of the shine off of that tape as well. Yep. That's good. Okay. And then I have another piece of wax paper, I keep forgetting what it's called for some reason yeah. I've got this piece and I have this lovely blue piece, it's got a lot of shine to it I think I want to cover most of this back piece to make it quite strong. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> so let's just... I could really do with a slight bit of table. I like that. Um, whilst it's wet, let's grab some more washi tape. Let's think, what do we want now? We've got kind of a blues and teals and purples going on. Um, I feel like I might sneeze, so. Sorry, I do.
There we go, and again I'm going to need to leave that to dry, and uh, ah. let's move it to one side and we can carry on working on like this. distressing. Okay, so finishing touch. Let's just add some of that distressing to the edge.
Um, I think I'm done with that now. Um, I think that needs a help, to be honest. So, yeah, that feels a little more sturdy. And obviously the pages will become more, what's the word I'm looking for, mm -hmm. they will become thicker and all that good stuff, so, yeah, I really can't wait to look in this journal, um, yeah, I forgot to mention that I have three signatures that I've sewn in to the spine. As I say, I don't feel very straight. Um, so there's three signatures, each with three pieces of paper. So that's going to give me 18 pages to work on. Um, because it's see-through, it won't be like a normal journal where I can work. The back is a separate page, if you know what I mean. If I work on the back, it will show through. So some pages I might work on the back, but it will be to create the one page. It will show through, if you know what I mean. So if I work on the back of this page, it will be because I want it to show through on this side. I hope you understand what I mean by that. So, again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.